All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kadash. Double honors to our apostle, Elder Gray Millstone. All right, Shalom, Wakasa, Laha Bakyar. To the Lord's men out there and their families. All right, uh, to you, I say Shalom. All right, and uh, real quick, man, this is a quick Google search because um, today is January, uh, I believe it's January 18th. Yeah. So called Martin Luther King Day. All right, and um, I just wanted to do a quick video. All right, and um, you know, uh, regarding this day. All right, because uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's January 18th, January 18th, 2021. Um, I just, I just want to do a quick video regarding this 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 character. All right, by the name of Martin Luther King Jr., which is you know his real name was Michael. All right, Michael Luther King. All right, but that's you know it's neither here nor there. But anyway, um, he really what he was was a puppet. All right, for our people, all right, to mislead our people away from Yahweh Shemuel Shai, and to um, pretty much uh, how can I put it? Uh, suppress the emotions of of our people. All right, like whenever Jake would get riled up, uh, Esau would always uh, you know, send out Israelites. Or, or what it appears to be Israelites, all right, to pacify our people. All right, and the word of pa and the word pacify means to appease. All right, but without further ado, I'm um I'm a, I'm gonna read a, a quick, some quick things out of his bio, and some quotes, and then I'll get some scriptures. All right, this is um like I said, this is from the history history dot org, I mean history dot com. It says Martin Luther King Jr. was a social activist and, and Baptist minister who played a key role in the American civil rights movement from the mid 1950s until his assassination in 1968. It says King sought equality in human rights for African Americans. It says the economically disadvantaged, disadvantaged, uh, disadvantaged and all victims of injustice through uh, peaceful protests. So let's stop right there. And then uh, we'll jump down. So, it says um, he was a Baptist church. He was a Baptist minister. And then uh, it says um, he sought equal rights for, um, you know, for, uh, for, all, uh, for all humans, right? Well, let, let's see what the scriptures say, man. This is the book of, um, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, man. You know, classic scripture. Everybody, every brother should know. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. It says, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. So, like, where where, where does the, uh, the equality part come in at? You know what I mean? That, that So, it, anytime, you know, you saw, uh, or, 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 or uh, anytime, uh, like, it's a, a member of our nation that's not speaking scriptural uh, according to the scriptures, and I'm I'm talking about the hundred percent truth, not just using the Bible as a front to get uh, to push their agenda or or the least agenda. Whenever it's a person of our, uh, our of our of our nation or what appears to be a person of our nation that is not um, uh, using the scriptures, they're gonna come with their own agenda or somebody else's agenda, right, because they're getting paid off or that or or or, or some other uh, uh, you know reason why they're doing what they're doing but this man is it said he, he he was pushing for equality and human rights for all african americans why would you be pushing for equality when we're um, when the scriptures just clearly say that we're better than um the rest of the people all right we're we're we're, we're better than everybody on all on all levels spiritually mentally and physically all right the scripture just said he, he chose us to be a, a, a special people unto himself man all right it says, um, it says unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That goes for everybody, man. All right, the nation of Israel, we can be equal because it's not in the Lord's will for us to be equal with everybody. We're 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 a separate nation. We're we're near and dear unto him. We're we're the apple of his eye. All right. Um. So that that that's, that cuts that right there. You know. Um. Let's jump down real quick, man. I just, want to, I just want to get like you know some some key parts out of this uh some background you know what I mean on this guy 
and I'll just jump down, like I said, you know, you, you can read through all that if you want, but, um, let me see, uh, I'll read this a little bit, it says, in his role as L L S C L C President Martin Luther King Jr. traveled across the country and around the world giving lectures on nonviolent protests and civil rights, as well as meeting with religious figures, activists, and political leaders. Let me see. Uh, jump down. Yeah, John, jump down real quick. Here we go. Uh, it says, uh, "Watch on March, watch on uh, March on Washington." It says later that year, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, worked uh, worked for, worked with a number of civil rights and religious groups to organize the March on Washington for jobs and freedom, and peaceful political rally designed to shed light on the injustices Black Americans continue to. Uh, 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 face across the country. Now, it, this guy is a so-called Baptist Baptist minister, right? Why didn't he use the scriptures? You know, what I mean, to bring out or to shed light on the injustices uh, of um, that was that was being a uh, you know brought on upon our brought upon uh, by Esau Edom on our people. Why didn't he use the scriptures, man? All right, instead of using. Um, it says for uh, jobs and freedom and peace and peaceful political rally designed to shed light on injustice. He could have easily just went through the scriptures if he was sent by the Heavenly Father to um, to bring out these things, man. Because the, the scriptures let us know everything that that goes on with our people uh, to this very day. All right, which you just gotta have the eye sight to um, understand it and understand those things, man. All right. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna jump down. And this is his famous I Have a Dream speech, all right? I just read a little bit. It says, uh, the the march on Washington uh, culminated in King's most famous uh, address known as I Have a Dream speech. It says, a, a, a spirited call for peace and equality that many consider a masterpiece of rhetoric. So that's what, according to uh, most people, it says many people consider that a masterpiece of rhetoric, man. And, and rhetoric is just pretty much the art of uh of, of, of speaking, you know what I mean? Rather it be eloquent or you know just knowing how to put words, you know what I mean, uh, 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 together in sentences and making it um you know being ca uh, charismatic with him, you know, and uh pretty much uh um knowing how to sway the minds of people, man. All right. But uh, regarding that, I have a dream speech. Let's see what the scriptures say, man. All right about that, man, because the Lord had that guy down pat when you read um when you read the scriptures, and I'm gonna get it real quick. Let me see. Uh, mm, here we go. This is the book of um Jeremiah 23, verse uh, 28. The prophet that have a dream. It's lucky. It says, uh, the prophet that have a dream. Uh, let him tell a dream and says and he that have my and he that have my word let him speak my word faithfully what is the uh, chaff to the wheat saith the lord i'm gonna jump down let me see uh, i want to get to the point uh, 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 yeah damn man where's the uh the one i uh one in here no that, that wasn't it it's lucky y'all but it's it's the scriptures i have a dream uh man yeah here we go it's the 25th verse man all right um this is uh the book of uh jeremiah 23 verse verse uh verse 20 uh, verse uh verse twenty. I'll start. At tw it's twenty five. Jeremiah twenty three and twenty five. It says, uh, "I have heard. I have heard what the prophets uh, said. That prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have a dream. I have a dream. All right. And this is <laughs> this is his famous. I have a dream speech, man. All right. And and, and amongst our people, this guy was considered a uh, you know a prophet, man. All right. He was he was considered a, you know somebody that was going uh, you know lead the way for our people, shed light." You know what I mean, and uh, and um, you know, be uh, like a guide uh for our people, man. 
All right. So let, let's see what the scripture say back back in Jeremiah. This is what the Lord said about I have a dream. This is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse uh, 25. It says, I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have a dream. I have a dream. It says, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesied lies? Yea, they are prophets of the of the deceit. It says of their own heart. It says, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their as their fathers have forgotten my name for but uh, all the prophet that have a dream, let him tell a dream and let him have my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Said the Lord, man. Yeah, so that's what the Lord said uh, to the man about I have a dream, man. All right, he he's he, he's prophesying lies, he's prophesying lies uh um in his name, man. All right. He, 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 he's speaking according to his own heart, man. All right, because equality is not in the plans of the Heavenly Father for our people. There's nowhere in the scriptures where you will find that the Lord wanted us to be equal to everybody and just and, 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 um, join hand in hand. All right, that, that's not scriptural. All right, matter of fact, got to get this one real quick. You know, because it, it's, it's, it's guys like these that are, that are used as stumbling blocks. That Esau puts in front of our people uh, to mislead them, all right, to, to cause them to go to go astray, all right. This is the book of uh, let me see uh, uh Proverbs eleven and twenty one. It says uh, though hand join hand, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be uh delivered, man. Because this guy was talking about equality and joining hand in hand and, you know, being equal with everybody. All right. And, uh, you know, pretty much letting the white man get off scot-free. All right. The Heavenly Father, is, he, he won't forget the works of Edom, man. All right. And, and he's not with that equality, man. All right. So you can forget that, man. All right. So I just want to jump down to it and then I'm, I'm um, I'll get a few more scriptures and end it. Because uh, I just want to get some quotes from this guy. Uh, it says Martin Luther King Jr. quotes. All right, and this is just some quotes that this guy <laughs> put. You know what I mean? It says, uh, this is, and this is, these are all quotes from him. It says, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And and when you look at the word justice, it goes back to righteous, righteous, uh, righteousness or righteous, you know, doings pretty much, man. All right. It says, Darkness cannot do drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate not. It said, hate cannot drive out. Hate, only love can do that. Only love can do that. Um, jump down. I ain't going to read all these quotes. Um, it says, free at last, free at last. Thank God, ultimately, we are free, we are free at last. <laughs> it was, you know what I mean? That was all the way in the, in the 60s. Or in the fifties, or all right, when it's uh, the sixties, because he died in sixty eight. Uh, when this guy made that, when they, when this guy made that speech, man, talking about we free at last, man. It's twenty twenty one, and niggas is catching more hell than, you know, what I mean, than uh, we was back then, probably. You know what I'm saying? At least back then, Jake had, you know, they wasn't bugged all the way out like they are now with tattoos on their face and niggas looking crazy, you know. But uh, let let let's see what the scriptures say, man. You know. This is uh this is Zechariah chapter nine verse twelve because Martin Luther King said free at last free at last thank God Almighty we are free at last let's see what the scriptures say this is uh, Zechariah chapter nine verse twelve it says turn you to the stronghold ye prisoners of hope even even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee yeah the Lord called us prisoners of hope man. All right, we're not free, man. All right, if we were free, we would be able to do what we want to do. All right, but we're under this man's system. All right, because that's that's prophecy. We read the scriptures. The Lord said, um, he shall get uh, the stranger that's uh, that is that's within thee shall get up very high. You know what I mean? Roughly paraphrasing it, and, and we shall come low. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and then the scripture saying Job nine twenty four, the earth is given. <sighs> Excuse me. It's Job nine twenty four said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right. You know what I mean? You know Esau has the power, man. 
All right, there's there's no way in hell that we're free right now, man. All right, the only way we will truly be free from this man and the rest of these heathens, all right, is 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 um when America gets destroyed. All right, outside of that, man, we're not free. All right, so that's another cut on that. You know what I mean? It, and it, it, it's just not it's not about cutting, man. It's just ultimately about you know uh you know telling the truth according to the scriptures, man. All right, because what a lot of our people. What they speak is it just does not line up with prophecy. It doesn't line up with the scriptures, and it's just not uh it's just not true. You know what I'm saying? You just you know you look at the statements that people be making, all right. Um, let me see uh, let me see uh, this is the book of um, uh, Romans chapter ten. Verse 2, it says, uh, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Yeah, this is what a lot of our people do, man. A lot of our people, man, they tend to um, lean upon their own heart and their own understanding and go about trying to establish their own way or their own will and going outside of the Heavenly Father's way. That's why a lot of these quotes that I'm bringing out and his 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 you know his philosophy and his mindset, what he was trying to do, it was ultimately not the will of the Lord, man. Talking about well, we're free at last, thank God, you know, Almighty, we're free at last. We we're not free first of all, and then he's going about trying to establish equality. That was not of the will of the Lord. All right, and uh, and various other things, man. All right, you know, yeah, you know, that but that was just a few um you know quotes I wanted to bring up, man. But I got a few more. Um, regarding this guy, you know what I mean? I just want to bring out these last few precepts. Um, this is the book of Sirach, because he was a dreamer, right? He was a guy that had dreams and stuff like that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 1. It says, the hopes of a man, the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools, man. So this man said, I have a dream, that I have a dream speech it says dreams lift up fools man all right and then at the beginning of this verse in Sirach 34 1 it says the hopes of men are void of under the hopes of, of of a man void of understanding are vain and false so his hopes uh, you know and his admirations and dreams about what he seen for the future of our people they were vain and false man because if he had true understanding he would know that those things that he was hoping and, and praying for and and wishing upon was just wishful thinking and then it ultimately wasn't going to come into fruition. Why? And because it wasn't of the will of the Lord. Anything that's not of the will of the Lord is ultimately vain and foolish. All right. And it's, it's not going to stand. All right. Verse 2. Whoso, whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth a shadow and falleth after the wind. It says, uh, the vision, the vision of the vision of dreams is is the resemblance of. It's like a division of dreams is the resemblance of one that of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. Uh, jumping down to verse five, it says divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain, and the heart uh, fancy as a as a as a woman's heart in travail. Yeah, man, all that you know, divinations and soothsayings and you know I have dream and you know sometimes you know it can be divinely um, inspired. You know what I mean? But ultimately, all in all, man, you know, you, you can't really lay your heart to those things, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? You just you just focus on the will of the Lord and his word. All right? Like I said, even though you do have, you know, a lot of our four forefathers and, you know, four mothers uh, that had that various visions and dreams and stuff like that. But that was all, all of the will of the Lord, man. Unlike this man. All right? Uh. This is verse uh, six. It says, uh, "If they if they be not sent from the Most High, and thy visitation set not thy heart upon them, man." And that's exactly what I was just saying. You know what I mean? Don't don't set your heart upon it because it can deceive you, man. All right, because what, what the scripture in Jeremiah seventeen and nine: "For the heart is desperately wicked." All right, who can know it, man? And deceitful above all things, who can know it? It says verse seven. It says, "For dreams have deceived many, and they have failed that put their trust in them, man." And that's ultimately that's ultimately what this guy um that that was his uh his legacy. He had a dream <laughs> that little black girls and little black boys would walk together with you know Edomite boys and girls, 
and uh, no, 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 it was, it was, it was just not true. It was, it, you know what I mean. And it wasn't other will of the Lord, man. It was vain. You know, it was foolish, man. All right, this is the last scripture, and I'm uh, <laughs> I'm gonna close it. Oh man, our people are they, they, they're, they're hopeless, man. They're, they're through. They, they need, they, 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 they need to, uh, you know, just, just chill out and just listen to, uh, you know, the apostles and the brothers, man. Uh, this is Lamentations four or four and seventeen. As for us, our 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 eyes are are yet. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain hope, and our watching we wa we have watched for a nation that couldn't that could not save us, man. Yeah, and that's the majority of our people, man. They watch for a nation that cannot save them, man. All right, and uh, they Esau uh, deliberately puts leaders out to uh, deceive the the masses of our people, man, to sway the minds of our people. And to get them to um uh you know to believe on 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 on, on pretty much white supremacy man, all right, and to uh, to bewitch you and 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 pretty much cast sorcery upon you man. But yeah, I just thought it was an interesting topic to you know to dive into man because today like I said is January eighteenth twenty twenty one, so called Martin Luther King's Day. I thought I'd just you know dive into it and just bring out some brief history. With that, uh, I pray it was edifying. With that, I'm gonna say all uh, praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Krakadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elder, great millstone, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect. Shalom.